Hey guys, Young 40 Mom here. I'm going to do a completed works and a whip. Um, it's my first one for 2015. I've been, uh, of course, you guys know I've been doing my stash videos and uh, sorry, I'm, my boxes are all messed up under my under my table. I'm trying to do some stash videos and um, going over the patterns that I have as far as and of course we did we did the giveaway and so I've been trying to stay busy holidays are finally slowing down uh, I got one of my stitch alongs completed but let's go ahead and get started um, the first one is my whale tail just dive right in now some of these I did do um, I did do quickie videos um, on the progression of each one of these so um, just bear with me, so I'll go through these real quick. I won't spend much time on them. There's that one, and then there's my Aunt Carrie and Hot Dog. It says, never look down unless you're helping someone up. So I got that one done. And finished my cat. I um, have not done the quickie on this one yet. That'll be going up probably about the same time that I do this one. But I really like this. I think I'm going to end up making this into a throw pillow. I think it'll be really cute. And then, of course, my stash. Uh, it's part of me, past, present, and future. This is what I made. These are all patterns that I made um, that I'm finished up. But anyway, I, I like this one the best. I had issues with the... Uh, it's the first time I ever did two over two. Um, I believe it's 22 count. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It kind of scared me a little bit because I've never done it before. And... Uh, um, I've already been in, always been an Ada person, and then a friend of mine suggested I try linen, and I, it's just not available in my area, so uh, I'm probably going to have to go to Chattanooga or, or Pigeon Forge to find some. But anyway, on the heart, you can kind of see I had issues with the count on the heart. Um, tried to adjust it as best I could. From a distance, you really can't tell unless you're looking for it. Um, it had a lot of French knots which I don't have a problem with. Um, and on the cat, the pattern did not have, I didn't put whiskers on it, but I put whiskers on this, so I'm probably going to adjust the pattern and put whiskers on it as well. Um, the scissors were a little tricky at the angle because it was 2 over 2, and the pattern actually shows it 2 over 1, so I, the counting on half stitches was kind of, messed with my head <laughs> so but um, but yeah I, I like the way it turned out this one I'm gonna end up framing and putting in my in my craft room so there's that okay so those are my finishes so far um, of course the other ones I did finish at the end of last year um, no I'm sorry I finished the cat this year that was my first finish and then my stash video was my I mean my my stash stitch along <laughs> my quilt stitch along is the one that I that's my second finish. Okay, so the cross stitch that I'm doing of my, I've got my hot light on so you can see it a little bit better. Um, loving my Q-snaps, by the way. I have three of them. There's one, two, three. That's the 17 by 18, the 11 by 11, and the 8 by 8. I'm, I'm going to have to get some more. I really enjoy them. Finally finished that little tiny piece right there with the, this is 22 count. I'm doing two over one. Um, finally finished it um, as far as like that goes um, once I get it totally finished finished um, I've got to do another row of white going up I am not gonna fill this in I'm gonna let it let it be as like a silhouette up at the top and um, I've got some wording that I want to put at the bottom and then once I do that I'm, I'm either gonna frame it or pick, make it into a pillow but I'm pretty sure gonna frame it but once I get that done it'll be really cute this is from 2008 um, a very good friend of mine, um, but anyway, so that, that's, I'm still, it's, it's, it's kind of a finish, but it's still a work in progress, I'd say I get that done probably within the week, so I'll have that finished, still working on a portrait of, uh, my, a friend of mine's two girls, uh, that's, haven't worked on that for a while again with the black, and I'm gonna have to go over it with the hair, with the, uh, the lint brush, cat hairs and haven't done much more with my 
Noah sub. Oh, and I know I should because it's going to be so beautiful when I finally get it done. I'm so excited. Just the detail in, in the pictures and it's just oh, so cute. So there are three whips. Um, let's see. I've got my oh, my folder. Um, this is another one I'm working on. Let's see. This is the uh, part this is my Gator Time. Um, it's done all in green. I've got it on, like I said I bef previously, I'm trying to use up that gray 14 count. So all of my uh, test patterns I'm doing on the 14 count gray. But anyway, um, this is part of his uh, claw. I guess is what you call it on an alligator. So I started in the middle and just worked my way up and then I'm working across. But um, that's going to take me a while. It's all one color, so I should get through it fairly quickly unless I get bored with it, which is a really good possibility. So let's see what we've got in here. Oh, Noah's sub. This is what it's going to look like when it's complete. It does not do it justice. It is so cute. We've got birds in the sky. and the. I know I've showed this before, but... I can't wait to get it done because it's got a ton of back stitching. But once I get it done, it's gonna it'll be so worth it. Um, I don't want to let me set you down for a minute because I don't want to get you all seasick, and that is a possibility. All right, so there's that. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's the only four I've got. Started. Um, I can't show you the picture of the alligator because I forgot to print out a color picture of what it looks like. So, um, the other thing that I want to do is um, show you my, you know what I'm going to be doing for the stitch along. So I'm going to be doing all the stitch alongs I signed up for that I talked about in my previous video, plus my current four whips that I'm working on. Um, I finally put some more leaflets in my book oh, of what I'm going to do. Okay, there's my stitch along list so I don't forget where, what, and how, and all that good stuff. In the back of my folder, I have months and that's where I have put, like this is what I told you I was going to do for my um, the snack shack. And I put it in each month. Um, another one I'm going to start probably this week is one that I created. And I've been gifting this one. Um, it's called Needleworker Shower You With Love. This is not the actual pattern. I can show you this. Well, regardless, I could probably show you because I created it. So there's no copyright on this one. I am giving this as a free pattern. I just think it's so cute. Um, I put a lot of hearts around it, but it's Needlework or Shower You Plug. And if you've gotten a rack from me, you've gotten this too. And you guys have been so great about not showing it because of copyrights. And I appreciate that. You're not showing the, um, the, because I'm sending the color pattern with the key. Um, and I didn't send, I meant to take the grid off of this one so you could see it without the grid. But this is just little, this is just the stitched blocks of what it's going to look like when it's done. But this is what I want to work on. So um, if you get a rack from me, you do get this pattern for free. And if you're interested and you want this pattern, just let me know and I'll, uh, I can send it to you in, um, in an email to young40mom at gmail.com. Um, just send me an email and let me know you're interested or put a comment below and let me know that you would like to have this pattern and, and I will uh, I will gift it to you. So there, that that's actually one I want to do next. Um, another one I want to start this year and I haven't done it yet. Well, like I said, that's all my whips. So I've got my abstracted angles. I've got my folder set up with my materials. I haven't got any of the um, floss in my packs yet but I don't want to overwhelm myself so yeah that's where we're at that's it um, my schedule for the stitch along I already finished the quote I guess I can take that off next will be the Valentine's I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do on that one yet but I will let you guys know as soon as I do and happy crafting stitching and peace out
of shaping her. I just want to know what the fascination is with the laser pointer and cats. If someone could please tell me, leave a comment below and let me know what is the fascination with the laser pointer and cats. Do they think it's a bug? I mean, she knows I control it because I can shake the chain on this and she'll come running and she'll stare at me and wait and then look at the floor and then look at me and then look at the floor. So she knows I control the bug with the laser pointer. Maddie? It's hard for me to control the camera and control the pointer and to get her really active. It's she's looking at it, but I can't really get her to oh 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 oh, oh. yeah, see I can't control it. I've got this in my left hand. Oh oh there she goes. Ah.